by the jilly jilly, what took you so long? Did a gnome mole you halfway or something? I... Uh, I guess it was called after all. Kill me now. Uh, my sinuses. The elite of House Lauren, ladies and gentlemen. What on earth made you think taking dreamy strolls outside right now was a good idea? What kind of idiot would it take? Hmm. At least you're here, I guess. Clean up your act and listen. The objectives for your next three months shall be... Yeah, they say three months. Well, it's like two months. Interesting. Maybe they had originally split it into like sixes rather than... Maybe. And, uh, just so you know, tissues exist. Also, those Unity fellows dropped by again. I think they were kind of surprised to see ghosts, but who cares anyway? Their leader is rather keen to speak with you. Have faith, young master. Perhaps they are finally <laughs> ready to recognize your supreme authority. <laughs> that said, I really need to lie down. Same. Ah, oh, it's got someone tell her to come tomorrow. My nose is killing me. <laughs> Kids these days. Fragile twins, all of you. Please. <laughs> Fine. Just whatever you do, do it gently. Oh, so it's the farmers? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're going to complain about their living conditions or how cold it is, or the crops, or I don't know. Sorry to ask, but are you alone? That's very unusual for you. No offense. I thought we had to talk this through face to face. I'm all ears. You see, not a week ago, something began to happen to folks near the Dratir Cove. Cattle began vanishing without explanation. Some homesteads burned down, also seemingly without rhyme or reason. Hell, that's not the end of the weirdness. Some people claim that trees themselves move when nobody's looking. And yeah, sure, you may say, stuff like that happens all the time. After all, it's rational. Normally, we'd grab a club or two and beat everything into submission, or blackmail you into beating everything into submission, or whatever. This time, however, it's a bit more complicated. I don't see how. Elves, lad. Elves? Elves. Um, and? Old Red ran into one of them while taking a stroll through the woods. He swears he's never had to run so fast in his life before. I still don't understand the issue. We've had dealings with elves before. No, no, not these. Different coterie, you see. Whatever deals you may have had do not really apply to these fellers. And elves are bad news. Very bad news. So how can I help? Like I said, normally we'd rally around and open a can of good old-fashioned whoop-ass, but... Damn it, I may get riled up all too easy, but I sure as hell am not suicidal. So instead, you decided to come to me? Yep. Because I'm reliable? Sure, let's go with that. And disposable? Exactly! I'm glad you understand. As disturbing as it sounds, I promise that we'll try to investigate. All right, complete the quest, elves. Now that, that I like. Folks at Unity will be glad. You know, it's kind of nice that someone's finally fixing all this surrounding mess. Who knows? Maybe things will actually get better. Try not to die, will ya? Addy, the boss slash spokeswoman of the Unity, 6 k for a personal audience. Apparently a possible, possibly a hostile ev elven coterie has been camping in... Drakir Grove, prompting increasingly growing concern from the people across Rashtil. Hoping to avoid violent misunderstandings, Kay resolves to pers uh, resolves to personally what? Resolves to personally deal with the leader of the coterie? Maybe yeah, or meet. Yeah. Something. It's something. Okay. So now that we've done that, we do not have the kingdom quests completed. So I currently have five. We're fine. We need two more. Yeah, I mean, realistically... Wait, so you did upgrade a building, right? Yeah, we can upgrade one more. Craft weapons will be necessary. We can get that. Inhabitants, what are the other things we need to reach? Confidant yeah, with eight. Yeah, we really should have... Oh, well, oh, no, the, actually, this worked out fine. Oh, the reach the reputation level four with Shadu or Lordamar. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we should have we'll done that. We'll be fine. Probably. We did get, like, a diplomatic missive. Oh. Oh, the noble's privilege. 
Another backbreaker of a missive has been delivered to your office, once again bearing the courteous embellishments of the Imperial office. At the very least, you know which part to skip this time. Praise the Emperor! Praise his austere countenance! Praise his boundless generosity! The Empire dictates thus. Why is a noble leader? You are cordially invited to attend the First Leaf Ceremony, whereupon our joint delegation shall partake in brewing and sampling of our finest tea crop. Through discipline, we shall obtain perfection. By the grace of the heavens, let this honorable ritual strengthen our bonds for years to come. Please send your best to the Imperial office. Send Ichiroji to attend. Shichiroji to attend. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh gosh, you're gonna send a dwarf? Yeah, the drunkard homeless dwarf. <laughs> well, that gets us a uh, kingdom quest, at the very least. But yeah, I mean, realistically, we can get a lot of friend and admirer status with that a lot of these hilarious. people. That's hilarious. So you, you really just had to choose what yeah. member of your entourage well, yeah. to attend a tea tasting ceremony? Yep. <laughs> Chichiroji. Yeah, realistically, we can get a whole bunch of uh, Kingdom Quests done just by doing... Um, crafting a bunch of items that you sell later. Yeah. Uh, so that'll mean, help. I never liked the crafting systems where you can only get the proper achievements if you craft like 20 basic items no i don't 10, like them either i i items. wish it was just a quota you the problem is like if you've especially out leveled it all you're creating a bunch of junk items that you won't be able to use unless you're yep. able to craft them down <sighs> still not the smithy okay um, oh hey so what's up with um well first and foremost let's winter. see who's who's available to level up so oh, diego diego can level up he's maxed out heck soon we'll have to work on it at some point uh, she can level Henrietta up. can level up. Levant, no. Loka maxed out. Got to do a quest for her. Signy can't. Theo can't. Ah, he's ready Valen to level up. can. And, and she's blocked until what? Oh, we've got to complete a bond quest with her. Uh, do we know what it is? Do we have to? Do we have to talk with her to get it? Here we go. No, that's Miri. That's elves. Nope. So I think we have to go talk to her. Okay, well, I'm going to save just in case. Okay. Yeah, I thought we'd already gotten the quest, but I guess not. Hi there! Let's try spending time. Well, we'll see if this is just a spending time or a quest. So... Huh? So... Perhaps you'd like to meet my teeny weeny favor, or like to do me a teeny weeny favor? Can I take a guess? Will it involve hauling rocks? Yes and yes. What? Uh, I was hoping for something less strenuous. Strenuous? It's just one small rock is all. How small? Well, a bit like this. Oh god, it's the relief. Er... I mean, go on. Okay. Up north, where my cousins like to play cape away, I hear that there's this thing known as the Gallum Moffrey. It's a frozen mess of bedrock, trees, and ice that extends into the mountain range, one leading deep into the dead west. That's funny. That's a, uh, I think that's a Doctor Who reference. Gallum Moffrey? Uh, Gallifrey, but it's, um... It's probably crossed with, like, Moffat or something. Oh, okay. Every once in a while, like, say, last week, the earth shakes, the ice cracks, and goodies fall out like sweet earthly pinatas. Rocks. Rare rocks. Beautiful, shiny, majestic rocks. Just imagine their noble luster, their stupendous porosity. Oh, ah. Isn't the thought electrifying? I can't wait to name them and dress them. Let me get this straight. You want me to bring you one of these rocks, correct? Uh, yep. 100% correct. Please, please, please. Can you? Will you? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, nice! Spectacular. Hear that, guys? Mike Room, you'll be getting a new friend very soon. Wait, I did say no promises, right? 
Okay, so that's one quest. Oh gosh, I love voicing her. I, I love I love her love of rocks. I, I myself like how, really like I rocks. like the variety of rocks in there. She's got like glowing crystals. But they all have little faces things. on okay, them and they're adorable. It's true. Okay, so Gunter is finally in his smithy, so let's uh craft. <laughs> let's see what we can make. Cause I'm curious. Okay, so we wanna do masterwork. And let's go down, let's do Theo first, I think. Okay, so we want the Northern Win. 120 shield points each activation. Ooh. Oh, interesting, but it's not purple. The other ones are purple. I've noticed that sometimes when you like reach a new crafting level, it's always one that seems to be the lower level. Yeah, but like this one is very definitively probably better. Mm -hmm. Cause like the only difference between this and the back scratch well, is five percent damage and some ice penetration, which is good. I suppose just craft it if you like it, and it will still count towards whatever you need to make. I hope it will. It might not count for masterwork, though. Yeah, that's the worry. Okay. Signy. Accuracy and damage. Hmm. Probably accuracy and damage? Yeah, accuracy and damage. Do you know what's one thing that I would love to see in the game? Hmm? A crafting system where the crafted components have their own models and then you like add it to the weapon. Yeah, I guess. Cuz then you could create your own custom model skins. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like imagine if say you're crafting a bow. You got to choose your bowstring, you got to choose the actual like shaft of the bow and like the hand grip and whatever designs might be inscribed on it, the coloring. Um maybe even what the arrows look like. That'd be really cool. Huh? Yeah. Because I noticed that in most games there's just a definitive model. And it'd be interesting if the different crafted components gave it a unique appearance. Hmm? It would just be complicated. But it's sort of like what you want to do with your, what, spaceship game? Where you want to have different parts for your ships? Yeah. Sorry, it says craft six masterwork quality weapons. Okay. Unfortunately, you don't have six characters you would use them with? Question mark. Yeah. Well, the main issue is trying to figure out rare uncommon. So this should count as masterwork. Okay. Let's see. So if I get the Sunforged Aegis, did that count? I didn't hear like a ping. Yep, it worked. It did work. It okay. did work. Awesome. So now you just have to create a bunch of junk items. Uh, probably. For fine yeah. And other things. Okay. We also got to figure out what's good. Oh, we already had an ambassador. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've been getting a lot of these specifically from um, quests. Yeah. Accuracy initiative. Accuracy initiative. Damage. I don't entirely know which ones are the best here. Okay, accuracy, physical penetration, damage, dodge, physical penetration, no. Song of Autumn, this is what I made. Song of Autumn sounds pretty. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out which ones are the best. We'll have to look into trinkets in a bit, too. <laughs> what? Poor Griffith. Yeah. I've, like, paid no attention to him this entire process. Okay, so she had thunderstrikes. I really want to see what Signy's story is. I want to know what animal she gets. We can work on her. Uh, I'm just grabbing everybody. Northern Wind. Gun near. Negative 400 health? Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I really don't. Okay, so this should... Uh, that's one kingdom quest done. 
In that case, I'm gonna go, um... Probably just make a bunch of crap, like, lower level weapons quick. Okay. And then we'll get back on to do elf... Yeah, I think so, because we've got to make dungeons. eight five fine quality weapons and ten regular quality weapons. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't know how many things I've made previously. I would just well, let's start work with on them in groups fine. of two. Why don't you work on them in groups of two? Okay, so I'll, I'll make two of each. That way we don't waste too much. And I'm going to make sure that I make the, uh, the blue ones. Mm-hmm. If I can. Costs a little bit more. Okay, so that's fine. Let's do regular. That counts as regular? I guess so. Yeah, I don't know how many I had made originally. So this might take a little bit of fiddling, because I, I don't want to, like, over... Overcraft? Yeah. Well, remember, you can always sell whatever excess you make to the uh, Hoxoon. No, it's, it's that's very true. And we were definitely going to go do that. Okay, so I made... So let's go back up to fine quality for a second. So we made... I don't think we made the Visage of Root. I don't know why there's a purple one there. Hmm. As part of the limitation, well, not the limitation, as, like, what's available. Okay. You don't have any glimmer left, really. Uh. Or, no, 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 wait, though, so the, the, what's on the left is what you need, and what's on the right yeah. is what you have? Oh, yeah. then you have plenty. Yeah, I'm, I'm golden. This is why we did all those quests earlier. I guess I can make every single available weapon for Gren. Gren? Okay. Well, we did get an achievement. Yeah, okay, so we're done with fine quality, so we need some more regular quality. Weapons. And then we just have to do trinkets with, um... With Winter, but Winter I was... Winter after we do her quest. Yeah, I was gonna do her, her quest first. Because that way we know. Okay, um... I guess we can also make Valens... Valen. Trash tier equipment. Okay. Really? That wasn't it? Well, you need ten. I but I did. I I I, I at this point have made quite a lot. Alright. different? Yeah. Maybe. I I'm not entirely sure what it counts, because I feel like some of these just literally aren't on the list. Okay, ah. Let's make the uh the weapons for Henrietta. At least these ones are like dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just make a bunch of them. And I won't feel too bad. Yep, there we go. Okay, so okay. now we're done with every single one of those questing ones. We've now got nine. We're done with crafting. Woo! So, yeah. then it's trinkets, trinkets, potions, potions, potions. Yeah, so we'll have to do potions at some point. I mean, honestly, I think we'll be able to beat the game without having to focus too much on the potion guy. So, construction, we're just... Uh, six buildings. Six buildings at least twice. Let's go, um... Well, was, let's sell off all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's go sell everything. Because that'll get us some more money. Then I was thinking we'd build... We'd upgrade Hello, some buildings. Okay. Shop. Okay. Guess let's filter Sell to regular. regular. Okay, so we don't need Tiger Claws. We don't need Phoenix Gem. We don't need Marksman Bow. We don't need the Skinning Knives, the Backstabber, the... Any of these things. Mm-hmm. Filter by type. Ah, weapon. Okay, cool. This way we don't uh, accidentally sell anything that we uh, we might possibly want. Actually, spent a fair amount of money crafting there. I haven't really been paying attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. Because I can sell, like, all of these. Because at this point, my main team is... Pretty much equipped? Yeah, is equipped. So if we do actually need more weapons... two thousand. Yeah, if we do need any more weapons, I'm going... I'll just remake them or something. 
A visage of rune. Alice, yeah. No good. And masterwork. Bond of trials. That's... Oh, it's unique, but I have two of them somehow. Okay. That is actually quite good, though. But I'll, I'll sell one of them, because... Mm. Okay, K is good. Um... That's Diego. Yeah, he doesn't need that. Thunder strikes. Back scratcher. Definitely not gung near. Graven verdict. Nope. Scar weaver. Nope. Silver flame. Definitely not. Hey, we have a lot of money now. And Zephyrus, yes. Which. Might be good, but I think he's already got one. He has the Zephyrus already. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then otherwise we've just got, like, trinkets. Uh, we don't have enough trinkets that I, I'd say we need to, like, get rid of them. We've cleared out our inventory pretty substantially. And we've got quite a lot of cash. Yay! Uh, so, yeah, we'll do the winter quest line, then we can work on... Uh, getting but trinkets with her. We should see where the winter quest line is because we might want to do some of the um, elf stuff along the way. I was going to say we'd focus on friendships. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can go check the map though, but I was thinking we do, uh, we'd do we we'd work on friendships for a while. I'm just going to venture forth alone. Yes, I'm sure. Wait, alone? We're not going anywhere. Oh, okay. I just want to see where the elves quest was and winter's quest. Okay, so Drakir Grove. That's for the elves. Yeah, so Everything what we're going to want to do is go on a trip. Probably here and then all of these. Mm-hmm. Don't know if we'll do this one. I guess we could. We'll see how much time we have. If I go back in, does that cost me a day? I don't think it does. Nope. Awesome. Okay, uh, so I you guess... You can level up Valen, though. Oh, yeah, let's go level up Valen, then. And let's save, just in case I haven't yet. Mm-hmm. Because he was ready to... He and Henrietta, and who else? To some degree... Diego? I, um, Diego. To some degree, I'm going to probably hold off on, like, Henrietta, for example. Okay. Uh, Henrietta, Levant, Griffith, and Gren. Just because I don't use them as much. Um, Both I don't... Diego and Valen are at the pier. Yeah, so we're going to go hang out with... Uh, with uh, Either or. I guess let's see who's available tomorrow. That's true. Diego is off. Valen is off. Valen's off for the next two days. Diego's off for one day. Okay, so we'll hang out with uh, Valen. Valen. Hi. Hmm? Spend time. Do tell. Oh, maybe he's going to talk about the statue. Do you know what this is? Given that it's a guy with a trident, I assume this is some sea god. Quite right. Quite an astute observation. That's Layware, the shark father. Even elves pay tribute to him occasionally. He's quite popular in Mareware. Soldiers end up being a rather pious bunch, especially in the middle of a so storm. Sailors. Sailors. But that is neither here nor there. Mareware is on a different shore and far, far away. Valen's more interested in why, why this particular sculpture ended up in the middle of an island, inland kingdom. Eh. Uh, you know, I never really thought about this. It was here when we arrived. Interesting country, a story under every surface, I oh. Regrettably, them elves cannot weave their stories as well as humans do. Terrible at parties, and boring in demeanor. Then again, skewering another being rare makes for the best conversation opener, I I thought he had a much, like, deeper booming voice. Fine. Good way to make a point, though. Yep, he likes it. <laughs> Pretty final, too. But perhaps it's better to leave that line of thought to cut-ups and fools. I get the uh, fleeting impression that you don't have, hold a high opinion of elves. I, I still and rarely, rarely does anyone. You may speculate it's because Valen does not hear the little pangs and tickles inside his head. You may largely be right, but Valen doesn't care. The brave men and women of Ascarios is all the company he needs. 
No need to hear a collective hive mind of elves to avoid the awful dread of solitude. You know, sometimes you remind me of Signy, and not in a good way. Oh? Oh? Uh, never mind. In any event, Valen feels no kinship and no stray thoughts fly away from his skull. As unconvincing as this case may be. I see, but how? Uh-uh, another time. Oh, you only had one option there. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you got it right. So now you know what that dude is. Also, I think that town was probably called Maraware because Maraware. Mar okay. is it means like the sea. Mar. Yeah. Like yeah. Mar. Yeah. Mar. Yeah. All right, let's. Mare. What do we do next? Uh, I think I've seen town. that at Italian restaurants when you have like a linguine dish with a bunch of seafood in it. It's like something del mare. And it's like, ah. Oh, I miss seafood. Why do you despise seafood so much? It smells gross, tastes gross. Hey. You've never liked mussels and clams and scallops? Nope. And squid? I like dried squid. And little octopi. Dried squid's kind of fun. With their little tentacles. They're so chewy. And I know you dislike fish. Oh, I love fish. Mm. And crab and shrimp. You're perfectly welcome to order that stuff at restaurants, but... Yeah, which is why we need to go out. I feel super sick whenever whenever you, like, actually cook fishy stuff back here. <laughs> and then you never eat it. And then it just sits around stinking up the fridge forever. Uh, well, uh, that last fish that I had made was sort of weird. Because it turned out, like, I thought that it was... I thought that it was a normal, like, whitefish cod, but it ended up being a trout. Or no, wait, no, no. We thought it was salmon, but it ended up being, like, a pink trout. And it's just... it, Yeah, it was weird. I think I might prefer pan searing than baking when it comes to fish. I just also remember the time where you tried to put peanut sauce on... Oh, that, on salmon. that was a mistake. That was horrifying. That was a mistake. <laughs> it's like no. you with the angel food cake. You slathered it in frosting and then put, <laughs> crammed it inside a container, and now you, you we can't get it out. We have to scoop the cake out. <laughs> well, we don't have a cake box. Man, I could sure use a break from whatever it is I was doing. Yes. Spend time with Diego. All right, let's go. I hope we hear more about his exploits. I don't want to hear about his exploits. So I've been thinking, hmm? You mentioned that a certain husband is chasing you for sleeping with his Both wife. enough, I guess. That's, that's right. Wait, why are we talking about this huh? again? Must have been a pretty powerful guy to send a professional assassin after you. I did mention he was a very rich man, no? Uh-oh. Ah. I hope it's not like Crucy or something. <laughs> that would be really weird. Just my luck, really. Doesn't help that of all people, he had to send a creepy stalker slash comedian. I swear the guy's been following me everywhere. <laughs> you called? See? This caca right there? This is what I have to put up with. But who is the employer? You've been awfully elusive about it. Uh, this is the part where you flaunt your royal authority to get answers out of me. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that's not what I was getting into, but now that you mention it... Well, it was an Ar Milician duke, and uh, I may have slept with the duchess herself. I think he had never heard the phrase, sharing is caring, if you catch my drift. Yes, I believe we have established as much. <laughs> I can say with certainty that she never complained. <laughs> uh, um... So, I mean, he's probably a skeezy character, but I'd like to bring up... Let's do number two. You don't you ever feel bad about it? Yeah, don't you ever feel bad about it? Oh, he actually really liked that. Say what? About what? About prodding them out of their little prisons? It's their lives. Emphasis on theirs. I don't care. 
Oh, 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 Mr. Diego? Yes, love? Oh, no, sir! That'll teach you f to make remarks about my facial contours. That was uh, supposed to be a, a, a com com compliment. Humph. Okay. Strings of their souls, eh? Oh, freaking girl. Ah, freaking. Ha. Not. Do you need a helping hand? No, it's cool. I'll just lay here. I'll stay here for a while and die a little. Oh, I think my hernia may be acting up again. Uh, maybe you just stay quiet, or I was all thinking right, the top. Ready? I was thinking the top one. Okay. All right, whenever you're ready, then. Okay. Nope. Any second now. Uh huh. Any second now. You're comfortable in there. All right, this may take a while after all. So he has been hitting on the sisters. Yep. He hits on everyone. Oh, yeah. There was that whole thing with Henrietta and Alice. I don't think he tried S Signy. I like, think Signy just instantly rejected, rejected him, like, and outright. Is, he's just like, nope, nope, nope. Noping out of there. Did you already reload? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I paused mid cutscene. <laughs> Usually it just ends, but if uh, but since Kay was just walking away, I was just like, oh, well, this is a good opportunity. Close enough, huh? Uh. <laughs> That's still hilarious. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Never feel bad Say about what? it. <laughs> Smacky smack. Oh no, sir. Okay. How freak. How about oh for the love of? Really? Oh for the love of. Oh for the nope. love of. What are you doing? You're getting up. Heave ho. Get getting up. Now just you wait. Gah. Um, are you all right? <laughs> the weather's nice. See, let me soak in the sunlight here. I'm super fine. Really. <laughs> Are you sure it's not be just because you don't want to be touched by a man? Uh, no. Absolutely not. See ya. Well, all right then. All right, we pause, and apparently it's the dot dot dot. I because... knew it was the dot dot dot. Huh? You're just supposed to let him lie there and languish in his, in his, uh, you know, despicable nature. Yeah. Just, I... just let, just let what he did to Kay's sister soak in a little bit. I mean, I think she let it soak in a little. You mean the the insult? Her strikes. Stri oh, what? Close enough, huh? I think uh, the implication is well. Actually, I don't know. Well, was he okay? <laughs> giving her compliments or like say a what? Rumor was going yeah, about? he was he was complimenting the contours of her face. Uh huh. I wonder oh, how no, old sir. each of the uh each of the siblings are. Yeah. He oh, just seems like a much older great. man compared to her. Yes. Like a good ten years older. Dot dot dot. It, yeah, just just let him be. I think I'm going to have to rethink my strategy. Maybe I should take up jogging. Then again, I'm rather immobile at the moment. Both literally and figuratively. Plenty of existential thoughts, too. What with having a personal bounty hunter on my head. I might die any time, save for the moment. Perhaps these are my last words, even. Uh, hello? Are you there? I was almost hoping Gren would pop up and be like, I'm here. Yeah, if Gren just started <laughs> talking to him. Well, 